opinions. Back with some more of this industry politics. Um, it looks like we got some more. I don't want to say information because it's like same shit we've been hearing about, but it's it's new parts to the story. Cause I don't know when, but it looked like Marquise. That's 50 Cent's son. Wants to put some information out. I'm not gonna lie, bro. About this is not um Prem's son. I don't know if if everybody knows or if everybody hip to the situation. There was a picture that was around that 50 had a problem with. It was a picture of Marquise and Supreme McGriff Jr. And they was, I guess they was outside of a club or outside of a party or something. And they had took a picture. Well, this is 50 Cent's son. And this is the son of the man who allegedly got 50, has something to do with 50 getting shot at. Like, the people that tried to kill 50, his father has some sort of connection with him. This is 50 son. So 50 son in a picture with the son of the enemy looks bad. So I guess in this whole talks about, oh, $6,700 a month ain't enough. And I'll pay you that shit just to have 24 hours of your time. People been on Marquis' ass. Uh, me too. I, I, I'm a part of the people. We've been on Marquis' ass about like being ungrateful and you grown now and this, that, and the third. So I don't know if this was his way of showing 50, like, bro, if you mad about the picture or if the internet is mad about the picture, I didn't really know this nigga when I took the picture. I didn't take the picture out of a place of, oh, let me go side with the ops. I took the picture out of a place of ignorance and not knowing who this man was. That's that's Marquise's excuse. So we're going we gonna to see if it add up. The time for this, this is definitely, I'm going to tell you one time, bro. One time, delete that post off your page, bro, because you want attention right now. And it's not going to work. It's not going to work out how you think it's going to work out, bro. Okay. You want attention right now, bro. When y'all started posting text messages and screenshots and DMs of what people were saying, bro. So he posted text screenshots. He posted text messages. He being Marquise posted text messages that they had together. And he must have posted his number. I'm going to tell you one time, bro. Marquise, you don't want this problem, bro. Delete that post of your... That low-key sound like a threat, but we're going to keep it going. Hey, Paige, you, you leaking my number? You leaked my number, bro? You got people calling my phone and calling me and texting me? Bro look like he about to cry. Nigga phone been blowing up from random numbers he don't even know. Talking about, yo, yo, you you really line Marquise up with that picture? Yo, you really Marquise homie? Yo, y'all really don't fuck with Fit? He getting, he getting calls about anything. Calls and text messages about every fucking thing. Yo, you really on some fed, yo. You on some police, yo. And, and these people on the internet, it's not cool for somebody to post messages and, and, and DMs and stuff like that and, and screenshot them and record phone conversations. Bro, you on some police, bro. And I'm going to tell you what. He kind of sound like he was kind of whining, like crying and shit. He's, you can't be saying, yo, people on the internet, it's not cool to be post. Nigga, it's gangster timing. I thought niggas was on gangster timing. Like, I, it started off with a threat. I'm only going to tell you one time, and then it started getting into, like, like low-key begging. One time, and this is my last time addressing you and talking to you, bro. Take that post down, bro. I'm not going to lie, bro. Now, the way he ended that, it's the one time I'm addressing you and talking to you. Uh, take that post down. The way he talking, it don't seem like they was friendly, like they was peoples. Like, as far as the picture. Like, if we're going to go back to the picture... If they were supposed to be cool in the picture, I don't know if they they relationship evolved or he just mad because of the situation now with the with the picture with the the text messages and the phone number being exposed. If it's that, because it don't sound like these two was peoples. All right, what they got? Now is really not the time. Now I'm I'm a violate. Watch. So this must be the numbers he leaked. 
You must delete the nigga numbers out. Then what's this? Tech oh you said text messages too. You wanna um guessing fucking context clues. You wanna fucking come out about this shit four years later like a bitter baby mother. You like like a bitter baby mother, you is the ultimate clout chaser. All I wanna do is fight. I don't care about no money right now. Let's fight for free. That must be Junior talking. That's Griff. That's Preem Junior talking. This nigga ain't no victim. He's the fucking problem. He's a manipulative person just like his mother. But look where that got them thus far. She told him he has to play victim to get the people on their side. Don't believe the hype. This shit's reality TV. His mother is a puppet master. So that's Griff Jr. That's Preem Jr. Talking about fit, talking about Marquise Moms and Marquise. And he said he want to fight. So he want the fade, but I guess behind the um behind the number leak. I don't even think behind the number leak because it looked like the number leak and the, and the text leak dropped the same time. So this must be a conversation they was having before the nigga leaked the shit. So, wait, what was they talking about? Because this nigga must have said something. The Keith nigga must have said something. And this must be the answer. You want to fucking come out about this shit four years later like a bitter baby mother. So, that's like, that's a response. Was no, I didn't even know who it was. He didn't tell me to after we left out of the club who that was. Like, when, uh, when we first took the picture, like, yo, take the picture, take the picture. Why are they blocking out the Keith nigga face? All right, so this must be the Keys nigga speaking. This is like Queen's Flip background. He must have went to Queen's Flip and did an interview talking about the picture. Picture. I'm like, so why do you think he would say that? Bro, I'm not, the even, gaffle, I'm not worried. The I'm, gaffle. I'm not worried about that. I'm just taking the picture. Right, and then right. he told me right. once we got outside who it was, mm -hmm. and it was just funny. Like, no, I didn't even know who it was. He didn't tell me to after we left out. I didn't know who it was. He didn't tell me till after we left out the party, the club, whatever. Who's he? He said, I didn't know who it was. He didn't tell me until we left out. Who's he? The club, who that was. Like, when, uh, when we first took the picture, like, yo, take the picture, take the picture. I'm like, so why do you think he would say that? Bro, I'm not the even gaffle. I'm not worrying. The I'm gaffle. All right. So, oh, this, there's more. All right, hold on. Nah, damn, God damn, nigga put up a whole story. All right, now y'all see I tried to reach out to talk to my pops as a man in front of the world and behind the scenes. I have no phone number for you, and you had me, and you've had me blocked on social media for years, so I can't DM you personally. And everybody that is mutual is scared to touch the topic because they scared of you. All right, we're gonna stop it right there. That's that is that. That's difficult. Because when Charlemagne asked 50, why, hold on, let me see. I think I got it on the, let me just open up another gram shit. When Charlemagne asked 50, um, hold on. When Charlemagne asked 50, like, yo, he just looks like he want to talk to you and woo, 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 woo. He's like, yo, he don't want to talk, he would have called me. If he wanted to talk to me. He would have called me, right? That's what 50 said, right? Hold on, let me see if I can get it. Yeah, hold on, I think this is it. Time. But the, you're talking about a kid that's not even a kid. He's 25 years old. Mm -hmm. You know what my issue was at 16? Angela, they wanted to charge me as an adult then. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. you, you look and you go, when you going to figure it out? Mm -hmm. He's fronting like they act like they got money. You ain't got no money. There ain't no money there. The house that they stayed in in Atlanta while they was out there foreclosed on them before they left after child support was in. Okay. Complete mismanage of the money that you was being sent. You see what I'm saying? And they'll look and keep making reference to that point that they had money. That was the point that you was around me. But they don't know how now. He was in Queens working in Bandit. He's a hooker boy. He's in Queens working at Vanity. He's a hooker boy. You see what I'm saying? So while he's there, 
Or, or a hooker. Watermelon hooker. You see him run, go get it. <laughs> so while he's there, go order a hookah, watermelon hookah, and you'll see him run and go get it. This is him. This 50 talking about his son. But now nah, this ain't the thing. This ain't what I was looking for. <laughs> the same energy you see there has been there the whole time. But the, you're talking about a kid that's not even a kid. He's 20. That's not the one I was looking for. It's the one where Charlemagne asked the nigga. Charlemagne asked him, yo, why why you just don't want to sit down with him? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Like, he was, oh, your son want to sit down with you type shit. I, I. He was like, he don't want to, he wouldn't have went on TMZ. 50 said something about Lona Lanza. He wouldn't have went on TMZ. He would have called me. Like, he wouldn't have went on TMZ. He would have called me. I, I. But if this nigga saying, I tried to reach out to you behind the scenes and I ain't got no number for you. You got me blocked on social media so you can't. I can't DM you. And anybody I, I get in contact with, like, yo, call my pops for me or some shit like this, they scared to touch the topic because they scared of you. So if you believe 50 that if he wanted to have a conversation with him, he would have called him, you can't believe um, the Marquise nigga because the Marquise nigga saying he got no contacts with him. He's basically saying, how the fuck can I call you if you got me blocked? I got no number for you. And anybody I ask for a number for you or ask to relay a message, they say, nah, I can't get involved in that because they scared of fifth. So you, if you got to, if you believe fifth, you can't believe him. You can't believe Marquise. If you believe Marquise, you can't believe fifth. If he's saying, yo, I'm trying to, I, I can't reach you, nigga, because you got me blocked. You can't turn around and say, yo, why would you go online? Nigga, just call me. Like, it's backwards. Like, you feel me? You that That's kind of like on some trolling shit. Like, if nobody knows, I can't reach you. You can say some shit like that. But at the same time, you don't know if this nigga telling the truth. But, all right, hold on. This seems to be the only way to reach you. I'm not a kid anymore. No mommy involved. I don't want or nor need money from you. I stand on my own, too. I don't like the attention. I had so many opportunities to get that, and I chose not, and I choose not to. I saw the Breakfast Club interview, and it didn't sound like much accountability there, just ego. Blaming and more so about money, as if you were the child in the situation. Those text messages was me. I was when you talk about the text message, there was some there's supposed to be some text messages between 50 and um and Marquise, 50, it's another thing in the breakfast, because 50 was saying that he thought, he assumed that it was the moms that had the son's phone. It was Marquise's mother that had Marquise's phone when they was having a text exchange, so he was like, that's why some of the shit that he was saying was so intense, and this, that, and the third, that's why he was speaking the way he was speaking, because he assuming that he's speaking to the moms through the son's phone. So this is Marquise saying, those text messages was me, I was waiting outside for you. That was the day you broke my heart. I forgave you for it. I'm ready when you ready to sit down and talk. I don't know that kid. Okay, this must be when he's talking about the... Okay, all right. I don't know that kid. His friend asked for a pic. He fanned out and held it for years. Look at the tags in the picture. Everybody but me. If that was what I was trying to do... I would have posted it myself. The bozo said it himself. We didn't and don't know each other. Just a goofy clout chasing, trying to sell shirts off his alleged dad who he don't even got a jail visit pics with and hitting up people that know me trying to set up an event for some bread. But y'all think it's about the attention and money for me, right? If I knew who he was, I wouldn't have done that. I found out the same way the rest of y'all did. Y'all can stop the cap now. I apologize to anybody that this photo may have hurt, but I wasn't aware who he claims to be. I thought it was just a fan asking for a picture. Any other enemies you see me in a pic with, I know them to be family damn near my entire life because of my pops. You only know the kid, Marquise. Come meet the man. All right. Well, put it like this. If you're telling the truth and you got no contacts with Fifth 
He blocked you on you, so you can't DM him and this, that, and the third. Ain't no relationship building. Ain't no coming to meet the man. Ain't no sitting down. Ain't no talking. That bridge is burnt and ain't nobody, ain't none of y'all motherfuckers can swim to get to the other side of each other, to meet each other on the other side. The bridge burnt. It's, it's a wrap. You trying to you trying to explain the picture? The picture been in circulation for years. I ain't gonna lie. You could have been explained that picture, and and niggas would have had your explanation on the books for years ago, from years ago. So like, if you if you saying that you ain't know the, who the nigga was, you ain't do enough to clear up the picture when it first got posted. You feel me? Now, as far as um, any other enemies, you know who the fuck your enemies is. If you in a picture with him, you can't talk about it like, oh, you don't know, or he's been family. Nigga, you know what it is. Y'all, you and your pops is going through some shit. You taking pictures with people that he don't get along with. It's going to be that. You saying that one nigga you ain't know, and he, it was a, a clout chase move and shit, and this, that, and the third. But like I said, if you wanted to set the record straight, you would have did it when the picture got posted and not when basically the money dried up. And you need this, you need a relationship with this nigga to see if y'all could build something to see if you as 50 cent son don't got to be working at vanity being a, the watermelon hookah boy. Because that's basically what it's going to go down to. You 50 cent son and you working as a hookah boy at, at a club and it looked bad and, and, and niggas is saying that it looked bad and you feel that it looked bad and you trying to remember where it went bad. And the only thing you can remember is that we used to when we when we was all together, we was living good, and when we wasn't all together, shit started going downhill, and that's all that's in your brain right now because you a hookah boy, and your father's fifty cent, and it's not supposed to be like that, and you know it ain't supposed to be like that. Everybody know it ain't supposed to be like that, but it is like that, and that shit eating you the fuck up, and he don't give zero fucks about it, so that's amplifying how you feeling. It's eating the fuck out of you, but he don't, he could care less. He he don't give a fuck about it. He got another kid and he going, he, he already talking about leaving everything to his, his, his new son. So that shit is going to eat you up even more. Like he building a liquor empire, a, like, like a, a, a spirits, I, I forgot what it's called, but he's building a liquor empire that he plans on leaving to his son and it's not you that shit gotta hurt like that shit gotta fucking hurt you was the first born you seen get rich or die trying you seen the nigga go from from 50 to f50 ferrari f50 you seen the nigga take over and now that you grown you grown you're a grown man you seeing that this nigga don't want nothing to do with you and he got a son that he's about to give everything to. That shit got to be eating you, my nigga. While he's on the, on the radio telling niggas that you a hookah boy. He's on the radio telling niggas you a hookah boy. Sending them down to where you work at. Telling them where you work at. Sending them down to where you work at. And telling them to order a watermelon hookah and watch you run around and go get it. That shit got to be eating you, nigga. It got to be eating you. Your pops got on the, on the breakfast club and told him, go to Vanity, order a watermelon hookah, and watch Marquise go run around and go get it. That shit crazy, boy. We're going to leave that bitch right there. Most hated. Hated the pins. I'm out this bitch.